hello friends welcome back to laravel 9 tutorial and in this video we are going to discuss about uh, one important things or one uh, problem actually uh, we have learned about the pagination but if you check uh, also in your application also if you check you will get this previous and next link and uh, the number page number is not appearing properly here also if you scroll down you will get these word icons like this csv icon is not properly coming so what is the solution of that so in this video i am going to discuss about that things so please see the full video and please subscribe this channel and share with your friends so this is the student listing and the listing are appearing from this uh, student table right so there is uh, 10 records and we are getting here i want to add some more data using a uh, faker easily we can add any data so just to go to the database section so here you can see the database cedars and i just going to add any cedar so here uh, i just uh, going to use the faker so simply uh, just uh, write use faker actually i am just going to uh, add some more data so that we can uh, display the um, pagination problem properly so faker factory as a faker right and here we will use the faker to add some data so if you check we have a students table right now uh, just uh, go here so just uh, call the faker create so simply i'm just going to add the variable that is faker and faker create okay so this will be the faker variable by using that variable we can add multiple data so let's add uh, suppose uh, 50 records right so 1 to 50 as uh, index okay mm, and here i just want to add some data uh, into the name email phone and address so simply i just going to use the db to insert data so simply here add the use db here so that we can access the db and i just going to add the table name so simply write table students so this is my table name and i just going to insert some data so simply call the insert function and here using a array we can add column name so name email phone address name and just use the faker name and then email uh, just to write faker email and just uh, phone so i just adding some fake phone number so simply write faker phone number and the last one address right so simply and just use uh, same way faker address add early doubles address okay so this is a quick video sorry <laughs> this will be not percentage it will be dollar okay so faker is ready now i just uh, going to add uh, the seeding or i just uh, going to add data so php artisan db seed i think uh, you all know this part actually we discussed about that things in our uh, video series so if you just uh, check my playlist you can understand i already explained and also i already explained the crude operation also where actually i just going to demo you so just go to the database you can see there is 60 record 10 and 50 i just added okay and if you check uh, sorry server not started so simply php artisan serve now if you check uh, you can see there are lots of record uh, 60 records you are getting and the problem is uh, in this way if you have a uh, lots of record like uh, 500 600 uh, 50k 1 lakhs then what happened then you cannot scroll in this way and at a time if you want to load 1 lakhs or 10 lakhs of record that time your project becomes slow right so that's the reason we need to use the pagination so how this page actually coming this page actually coming from app uh, http controller and student controller we have an index page and from that page it's coming so instead of get 
paginet right p a g i n e t paginet function and simply i just want to uh, see 10 record for me for now and just use this so we are getting the 10 records okay so this is the uh, this is no problem but if you want to uh, see another 50 record how we can do this so we don't have any links to uh, go to the next page or something so we need to add the link into the student list view right so just uh, go to the resource and views and student list just add the uh, links here so just after the table i just going to add a here simply write the variable which actually we are passing that is the data so simply write dollar data and uh, just create links okay links is preview function now just go here and refresh we can see the next previous option okay next previous but the problem is if you scroll down you can see the problem is the arrow actually the csv image and if you check you are getting the number here and also this is the arrows there is the open arrow and close arrow so it's look uh, very bad means uh, this is the giant arrow and uh, it cannot uh, fit in this page right away so how we can we do this okay so, so this is the problem and i have a solution simply just uh, go to the app providers so if you just go here app and providers you have app service provider simply here also you need to add the pagination okay so simply just uh, use here use illuminate uh, just copy illuminate then uh, the pagination p a g i n a t i o n i don't know why suggestion is not giving okay no problem paginator p i g n a t o r paginator okay you just add the paginator and here in the boot function just call that simply write paginator and i just uh, going to call the bootstrap okay so i am using the bootstrap so that's the reason i am using the bootstrap function use bootstrap this is the function and we need to use that and simply if you just to go here you can see the links are appearing and here you can see the array and here you can see the arrow so that you can uh, go in the next page right so i just uh, going to little zoom in okay so you can uh, see that okay so how beautiful looks like it now okay so you can understand how this problem is solved this lots of friends are asking the pagination is not like uh, good right it's not appearing good so this is a solution actually i forgot to uh, say that time when i just uh, completed the pagination tutorial so this is a solution i hope you will uh, see this and uh, share your friends if you have get this type of problem right next day i'm going to discuss about another uh, things like multi-login system uh, suppose there have uh, uh, two types of rules like normal user admin user so how we can we uh, separate their dashboard uh, and how to control that things in the middleware or how we can restrict their uh, access uh, from the middleware right so we will discuss in the next topic thanks for watching this video have a good day bye